Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about the JavaScript arrays. Now, why do we need to understand about the arrays? Because there is a very direct correlation between the Postman API testing the responses and how we are going to navigate to those responses. So let's quickly understand the arrays in JavaScript as well. Now, array, as we know that previously we had the objects, right? So for example, if I go back here, and we had created the JavaScript objects basically, where, which is basically uh, the collection of information. For example, the student, right? And a student object had some of the attributes about the student, the name, age, etc. And then it could also have the function, right? So the object was basically within the curly brace. Now, say for example, I have a list of our, within the school, there'll be thousands of students, right? So would it be, you know, a good idea to create thousand student constant, you know, constants, basically student one, two, and then have that information, right? That is not absolutely a feasible idea, right? So that is where arrays come in picture and you can have kind of the numbers, strings, objects within the array. So there is n number of possibility that you can go ahead and put the items within the array for example if i simply define a constant okay and i'll say students okay now these students if i the, the array is basically just the square brackets okay so if you just say square bracket and anything within this square bracket will be the items within the array all right now the what is the flexibility basically of the array you can add remove items right so if say for example there are thousand students at one point of time in a school you can have thousand students when students are not there they have passed out there are only 900 students you can remove those hundred students so this is basically kind of dynamic right so it, it you can add items you can remove items etc okay so this is the flexibility of the array now the next thing is you can have the objects within this right so we had this javascript object so for example i want the student information so i won't be having the function i just want the student data there okay or before that let's quickly have just the string array for example within this square bracket we want to have some string items okay and the names basically so i'll say first name and then second name and then third name comma separated so any number of items that you want to add within this array you just need to add those as comma separate okay and because this is a string so these are the names so we are putting it into the quotes okay so okay so now how can we basically say for example this is simple array so let me print it okay so let me print what you see when we print this array okay so we'll print the students copy that and just print it okay let's see what happens so if i send this request open the console and clear it and run again you will see this in the parenthesis you see the four right so this shows that this is basically an array and within that array you have different names that we have added so complete array has been printed on the console with this printing now if i have to get the particular item within the array okay so for example i want to fetch what is the name that is there on the location three okay or location four so i will simply say console let me print it right so and then you just have to fetch those and because this is array okay so what you need to do is you need to basically within the square bracket you have to specify the index of the item right now array has the indexes and within array in any programming language you the array index starts from zero okay this is what we see here in the console as well right so if i expand this you will see at the zeroth index rama is there at first index steve second third so basically if there are four items the index starts from zero to three to contain four items right so in order to get any value for example the second value you have to specify the index one because the index starts with zero so at zeroth index rama is located right at first index steve is located at second index tom is located right so for, for example i want to fetch what is the or the student that is placed at the index 2 so it should actually print tom in this particular case so let me send this and see so you'll see the tom has been printed because we have fetched the item that was at the index 2 0 1 and 2 okay so this is how you are going to fetch the items out of error now this is very simple error all right now say for example i have the students okay so let me remove this and add 
the object so basically we have students right so we can have these student objects within the array as well right so let me copy and paste this object okay that we had previously and i'll remove the function out there okay so i won't have this function anymore there okay just the student detail all right so this is basically one object right within the array okay now if i have to add another student all right so i'll simply i'll make it a little simply simpler so just the age okay and the name all right so i'll say student name age year okay so this is so this square bracket is the start of the array ending square bracket ends and then within this array i have one object okay uh, if i have another student comma separated okay after this i add another object there okay and say for example this student is drama different age all right and say yeah. okay similarly if you want to add more students you can go ahead and keep adding more students in this particular array okay comma separated the last object that you will have okay you don't need the comma in the last right because we just need comma after first second third not not after the last element okay so now within this now within this object okay so for example this is the second one okay this is the second one okay this is the second one and this is the first one okay so now if say for example so within the array we have the object within the object we can have array again okay say for example the student which all subjects this this student has right so i can say subjects right and subjects can be multiple right so within the uh, within this particular object i can have another array okay now here we have to make sure that there is a comma after because we have we have added one more value right so comma and then the new value now in the subjects i can say this person or this student has taken subjects english hindi and maths just hypothetical all right now you you see that within this array we have an object an object again has the array item subject right this student can have the same subjects or the other subjects right so all of that flexibility is basically possible okay i'll add comma separated here say for example this student doesn't have english okay so i'll say say for example this student has spanish as a language right so this is basically how you are going to define the array within the array there can be objects within the objects there can be any any number of you know any level of nesting of the array items okay now why we are understanding this the reason being this is how we are going to get the responses in apis right when we send the api request this is how mostly you will see the responses there will be you know array within the array there will be can be an object within the object there can be another array so how are we going to access say for example i want to access the subject of this student the first student in the array okay what is the first subject that particular student has taken okay so first student we know by seeing it is it's english right but then how we are going to access now because this is array okay so we know that yes okay so let me print it okay so we'll we'll start from very top okay so we'll start from very top this is the student this is the array okay so we'll simply say yeah okay this is array students right now in order to access the first element of this array right what is the first element this is the this object is the first element right so i'll say because i am interested in getting the first subject of this first student so the first element in an array what is the index of it it is zero right so we'll say student whichever student is at index zero because this will be the first student within the array okay then this will basically give me what this will basically print this particular object okay so let's quickly run it let me clear the console and show you what it's going to print okay so you'll see student name john this object has been printed right now within this this object i am interested in getting what is the first subject of this particular student so how am i going to reach subject okay so how you are going to navigate to the subjects okay so this is the object right now within this objects we can say dot notation right so and then we'll say dot notation and then you will get because we are we are having access to this first object and then in order to get the values of the object we know that we can use the dot notation right so dot 
subject right now what will dot subjects give us it will give everything right everything that is there okay let's see that in the console you will see now it has given me array okay dot subjects had given me array which has english hindi and maths okay now in order to get the first subject in this particular subject okay what we are going to do now because this is again array right these subjects are within the array so we need to put the square brackets there and in order to get the first subject we put a index of the first subject which is basically zero right so now if i send this we should be able to see the subject english being right so this is how we are going to traverse through the responses okay and then fetch the values okay so let's quickly go ahead with the real example okay so when we say real example i'll go to the get project okay and then i'll show you the response okay so let me send this get projects and in the response let's see the json right so basically say for example within this json right the first thing is we have to get or it, it needs to be a javascript object first right which we have already understood now in this particular json okay if i have to navigate and get this name say for example right the first thing is we have to see what is at the root right so basically this is a this is the starting bracket right and then this is below the values right so this particular name or key is below where below the values and values you see that it is square bracket that means values have multiple objects right so this after the square bracket you have this curly bracket and wherever this curly bracket ends this is first object right then we have the second object right so accordingly you will see you know if we say for example let me get this see the so you'll see we have already done it right so let me quickly show you so previously we have already done this json dot parse thing right so basically this is now printing the javascript object on the console right so let's navigate through that we clear it and send it again so it will be more clear okay so now here you will see that this is an object right within that we have different values right and these values are different values and this is array okay so values contain four different values there and each of these values have is is a javascript object and within this object we, we say for example want to fetch a particular name okay or key so how we can do that we can apply similar approach okay so let me put this in the console right so in the console okay so i'll say console.log okay and then let's try to fetch now we know that this response contains that javascript object okay so now let's see how we are going to navigate right so now if we did response dot why we are doing dot because we know that this is a javascript object right so if we say response dot max result it used to fetch 50 now we know that this values okay if you want to get the values we have to go we have to say response dot values right so we'll simply say response dot values all right and let's print it okay so i'll comment everything here okay i won't print anything else apart from the the values let me clear it send it back now you will see that it is printing the four values basically the array now within the array there is again an object okay so if i have to get the first object out of that array what i have to do is i have to put the index of that right now because this is an array so i'll say okay i want the first value so i'll say within the square bracket the zeroth okay so the first index and then it will fetch me what it will fetch me the first object that is there now for that first object i want to fetch the key right so basically the key is within that first object right so now i can use the dot notation and then specify the key okay so i can then say out of this value the first value i want to get the key right so i simply type in the key and make sure that you don't make mistake that it is actually so it's better to copy and paste okay so i'll simply copy and paste and then send it again and let's see the console so you will see demo has been printed successfully there okay so this is basically how we are going to navigate and that's where array object or array within object right that hierarchy understanding is important and that's why we have covered that 
okay so this is basically about the arrays in javascript now in the next video i'll cover some of the built-in functions of the array which will be really helpful as well so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching